It's a nice place, too. I've been watching people arrive tonight, which has been wonderful. And true to form, Pat McKay came in, went right into a closet, and lit up. <laughs> Coming toward me. You know what the amazing thing is that we're all very, very different people. This is the thing. We're all different people, but it's amazing what we all have. What you can't hear? It's amazing what we all have in common. As a matter of fact, I never realized I had as much in common with Kim as I do. We've both been in morning radio for years. At one time, we both worked for WMAS, and we've both been sleeping with Dan for years. <laughs> That visual. Yeah. My eyes. Happy birthday, Mr. <laughs> Want to be in radio? <laughs> uh, it's the time of year we send out Christmas letters. I happen to intercept a Christmas letter to Santa. Came from Karina, Jill, and Allison. And it said, Santa, whatever you bring, please don't bring a microwave oven. If there's anything we don't need more of, it's anything that heats up in 20 seconds and goes ding. <laughs> <laughs> Tell this time. They're explaining it to Scott. I don't get it. It's going to be a long evening. I was going to say, yeah. I was out to... That's okay. It's good to see everybody here tonight. Sit down, Eric. I'm talking. you. All right. Uh, it really is. And uh, Tim Willis made it. Tim stopped drinking last week and found out he wasn't twins. <laughs> Bartender champagne. No, it's true. Uh, uh, even Rich Eulen is here tonight. Where's Rich? Hey, hey. How are you, Rich? <laughs> Do you know when Rich moves into a neighborhood, they have to notify the sex offenders? <laughs> Bo liked the drinking joke. Give me a Bo. That a boy. God bless you. Bo wasn't born. He was squeezed out of a bar rag. <laughs> Good to see Bob Martin here now. How are you, Bob? I love you, Bob. How are you? That's good. You can hear Bob these days if you turn on anything but the hot water. <laughs> I was out to dinner with Tom Pluto the other night. That was kind of fun. He tried to impress me by ordering the entire meal in French. Unfortunately, we were at the Hoogie Lao. <laughs> I have a note here from Sean. It says, please mention my name. You know how much this would mean to me. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Brad. No problem. Good. What do you say about a classic radio guy? He's been in a business, he's been in sales so long on the wedding night, he sat at the foot of the bed and told his wife how good it was going to be. Have you at 15 or 30? <laughs> God bless you, Eric. How are you, buddy? Super salesman for this company. Got three orders today alone. Get out, stay out, don't come back. We love you, Eric. It's great to watch the traffic pull up and wait for his head to change the green. Insurance from uh, from uh, Gene. Thank you very much. I filled that out for 07. They asked some important questions to determine your risk factors. Do you smoke? Do you use alcohol? Have you ever gotten into a car with Shannon? <laughs> Raise your hand. I know you can't do it if you've ever gotten into a car with Shannon. It's tough to do when you're in a cast. <laughs> no, it's just the back seat. That's all right. Just the back. You're a good-looking guy, Eric. Never go to jail. <laughs> John Payback did not make it here tonight. We were hoping he would have been here tonight to just to have an evening of ineffectual flirting. We were sort of hoping that he would be here. His autobiography will be on sale as you leave. Those who help me and how I hate them. Oh, jeez. 
Dan, happy birthday to you. God bless you. A round of applause for Dan. Thank you, Dan. I, like everybody else, I used to listen to him when I was a kid. That's not, that's not fair. He looks great. He's a young looking. Now, Dan, I'm lying. I've seen younger faces on cash. Uh, this party has had some fabulous preparations for this evening. I want a round of applause for the preparers for this party tonight, please. The food, the decor, the music, the entertainment, the reservations for the entire fourth floor at Betty Ford tomorrow, all those things just don't happen. They just aren't thrown together. But all around me, I want the good feeling to, to abound tonight as we approach the holidays. I'm pumped because all around me I see people who truly inspire me. People who it's a pleasure. That's okay, I'll wait. That's fine. Make sure he has enough butter. That's good. All right. Hi, honey. How are you? That's good. I'm going to go home tonight and get a new flag. <laughs> all around I see people who inspire me this evening. Tom Pluta. Pluta. A man who came up from nothing and brought it all with him. Sean, who came up the hard way, blackmail. I saw those pictures. <laughs> Jeff Orr, a relative newcomer, but a long career. A long career of annoying women on public transportation. <laughs> Scott Munchen. Scott, you don't say much, but whenever you do, it's stupid. <laughs> Rich Eulen. Rich Eulen. A man who started out in life with nothing but a sex addiction and a dream. <laughs> Gene Mancini. Gene Mancini, who lost her innocence on Mick Jagger's tour bus. You remember that, Chuck? You were there. Deb Barrett. Deb Barrett. Love Deb Barrett, that little hottie. Who learned credit in collections from the Nuremberg trials. Eric Kaiser. What? Whose head shows up on weather radar. Jill Newton, who I am very happy tonight to say I am still sleeping with. And Jill is great, but what's my opinion among many? I was, I was hoping that, uh, that um, Mark and Bridget would be here tonight. Mark and Bridget have a tough task of them ahead of them every morning, deticking Shaggy. <laughs> Bridget is beautiful and smart and talented and I love her but if I hear that goddamn train ringtone one more time on that cell phone it's going out that's a fifth floor joke so am I for that better Danielle who I haven't spoken to in two days I didn't want to interrupt her The gloves are off. Yeah. Oh, you're right here now. Tucker. Is Tucker here? You made it on time tonight? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I swear to God, Tucker's been late more than Rose Kennedy. That even offends me. Kevin, Matt, and Justin, the only, the only surviving brain donors in this world today. I say to you all from the bottom of my heart, and there's very little of that. Excuse me, it must have been the chili. Thank you. I love you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Yeah.